Verse 4. And God saw the light, that it was good, etc. Very pleasant and delightful, useful and beneficial, that is, he foresaw it would be good, of great service. As Picciarellus interprets it, for as yet there were no inhabitants of the earth to receive any advantage by it. See Ecclesiastes 11 verse 7, besides, it was doubtless good to answer some present purposes, to prepare for the work of the two following days, before the great luminary was formed, as to dispel the darkness of heaven, and that which covered the deep, to rarefy, exhale, and draw up the lighter parts of the chaos, in order to form the wide extended ether, the expanded air, and the surrounding atmosphere, while the Spirit of God was agitating the waters, and separating them from the earthy parts and which also might serve to unite and harden those which were to form the dry land, and also to warm that when it appeared, that it might bring forth grass, herbs, and fruit trees. And God divided the light from the darkness, by which it should seem that they were mixed together, the particles of light and darkness, but, by what way is the light parted, severed, and divided from darkness, is a question put to men by the Lord himself, who only can answer it, Job 38 verse 24. He has so divided one from the other that they are not together at the same place and time, when light is in one hemisphere, darkness is in the other, and the one by certain constant. Revolutions is made to succeed the other, and by the motion of the one, the other gives way, as well as also God has divided and distinguished them by calling them by different names, as are Ben Ezra, and is what next follows.